and welcome back to another Who Would Win. And this would take oh this week's today's Who Would Win comes to us from Apex Predator. Ask the question: Who would win a fight? Uh, Tricor Slaughterus, the champion of the universe, and Rasslor, the mightiest of the mighty. Yeah, and for those of you who don't remember Rasslor from Dexter's Lab, you're gonna get a crash course in Rasslor from Dexter's Lab because I get to break out my Macho Man Randy Savage impression. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, Rasslor! First up, Rasslor from Dexter's Lab. Now, Rasslor appeared in one of the Justice Friend, like, short cartoons that was on Dexter's Lab. Essentially, their version of the Super uh, Justice League. And Rasslor is said to have been born from the... Actually, I'm, you know what? I gotta get this up verbatim. Hold on one second. Uh, Rasslor. I gotta get Rasslor up again. Alright, Rasslor! But basically, he's an intergalactic wrestler who basically goes around challenging the, war the most powerful fighters in the universe, planet to planet. Planet. Okay, and as he enters himself, Welcome, heroes of Earth! You have been chosen to receive the glorious gifts, the opportunity to face me, the great Rasslor, in a contest of strength and skill! <laughs> I love Rasslor. Um, and, um, oh, and his weight is 6,000 megastones. Wait, a, a megastone is never specified. They could understood it as a weight a uh, unit in stone equivalent to 14 pounds with the SI prefix mega, which would imply that it, his weight is... Holy crap! His weight would be, theoretically speaking, 84 billion pounds! Wow! <laughs> and granted, he's a big dude, but he's very condensed. I mean, he's still like 11 feet tall or something like that. I don't think they ever gave us a height or anything like that. Um, no, yeah. Uh, personality, he's a true fighter who, uh, through and through, who lives solely for struggle and competition, and thus Charles the Universe, urging for plants to inhabit the mightiest warriors. Uh, he believes that only through destruction can the weak avoid the sham, humiliation, and defeat. Uh, however, he does not only seek strength in his opponents, but honor. Well, hence, when Monkey took him on, the world's mightiest hero, he barely could stand a shot against him, especially when he went serious. It's like, incredible! I could break your body, crush your bones, but I can never break your spirit. And like that that's what my why he saved the earth. Wrestler is easily one of the strongest, if not the strongest warrior in the universe. As even the legendary Justice Friends stood no chance against him each time they faced him in battle. They were swiftly crushed by each of uh by him each time, with the exception of the infragable Kronk, who ended up crushing himself into the ground. Even which uh, which indicates that maybe someone like Hulk level could take him on. Even the mighty monkey, the strongest hero in the world, could not make Rasslord budge. And after the latter started taking him serious, well, make him budge after the latter started taking him seriously. He was able to easily crush Monkey in his hands and put him down every time he stood. As Rasslord is the spirit of competition and the embodiment in the victory, it is likely he is incapable of losing or being overpowered. Making a truly forced breakman. His biography says countless years ago, wrestler Rasslor was spawned from the very essence of the cosmos itself as the spirit of competition and the embodiment of victory. Um, which actually indicates something right there is that if the cosmos actually more or less created him to be the actual living embodiment of spirit of competition and victory, it does stand to reason that he theoretically could not lose a fight. Theoretically. However, Kronk lost. Due to the fact that he kind of, due to a technicality, he didn't actually beat, Rustler didn't actually beat him. Um, so, it's, um, it, so, hypothetically speaking, someone of a caliber similar to him could take him on. Now, Trico Slaughterus is the champion of the universe, former holder of the Power Stone. He is the one that um, Thanos actually collected the Power Stone from originally in uh, Thanos Quest. Uh, and he is, he is a, he's one of the elder immortals of the, of the universe. He was basically one of the last of his, pretty much the last of his race. And he is predominantly a warrior. He has trained in multiple verse, uh, forms of combat over his time, enjoys fighting. His strength is incalcul near incalculable. He can easily lift a hundred tons, no problem. Um, he is also deceptively fast and agile and very durable. Uh, but without the Power Stone, he's if that's just without the Power Stone. If he has the Power Stone, then that's up to um, up to even more. He's also immortal. Now he can be killed, but death has banished him from her realm. So if he dies, then he, they he dies. But in death, 
Death won't claim. Death won't claim. There's like a rule for the elders; they can't be claimed by death. Which because and like um like um, wrestler wrestler, um, Trico can, or I think it's Trico anyway. Trico can uh, it uh, was basically con uh, concede. Well, yeah, kind of concede from the remnants of the Big Bang. So he has a lot of dormant energy that's akin to cosmic energy in the Marvel universe. So who wins the fight between Rastlor and Trico's Lotters? Well, let's say that, you know, Trico hears about Rastlor just evading and destroying worlds. Comes to, He stops in on Earth right as, you know, Monkey's about to be is just thrown down again. I was just like, I don't know what he sounds like, so I'm just going to give him a voice. He's like, oh, right, let's see what you got. I'm going to make him sound like Arnold. Why not? No, Arnold, uh, it's the one. All right, let's see what you got there, buddy. Nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's see what you got there, buddy. Um, what voice was I just doing there? Oh, I was just, I just realized I was doing it. And that's the voice I knew him. Oh, you better be written, brother. Because uh, the name is Raccoon. And it rhymes with doom. I'm going to do the, do the abridged Raccoon voice. All right, I'm Trico Slurs, the champion of the universe. It's like, oh, no, you are not. I am Rasslor. I'm the champion of the universe. I'm going to make you, I'm going to put you in a choke slam and beat you to every letter in the alphabet until I get to the letter of my true love's first name. That'd be lovely Elizabeth, by the way. So the, they go and they come at it. And immediately, I'm going to say, Trico is probably stronger than the majority of the Justice Friends. Like, even like, even like, uh, even uh, Major Glory. I did actually verse with Major Glory. And he's actually more powerful than you think. But from a physicality standpoint, he's actually not all that uh, impressive, comparatively. Uh, Triclo, though, is a trained warrior, and they go, they go head to head, and for the first, and I imagine that, you know, uh, wrestler try, just throws a punch, tries to grab, it, like, I'm gonna smack you down, mother, and then, what, and then he just gets flipped over by Triclo, and he corrects himself, like, ooh, I see we know how to play, <sighs> Well, brother, I was like, well, my friend, I've got you in this ring, and I got you in this ring for one thing. It's like, what's that? Play time. And then they do get out, and they're, they're throwing punches. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you think that you could get me? And then just grabs Trico, just power drives him down. Just, boom. Trico then grabs him by, by it with his legs, just flips him. Oh, oh, if I swung that way, I'd be in love. Fuck it, I think I am in love. And then they just keep duking it out for a good long... It's going to be trading blows back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Unfortunately, here's the downside for Trico. Is that in the description for Wrestler, he is, theoretically, uh, as Wrestler is the spirit of competition and the embodiment of victory, it stands to reason that, hypothetically, unless you're dealing with someone who has like legitimate reality-warping powers or something, something that's not pure brute force... You probably couldn't beat Rasslor. You can't beat Rasslor with brute force. You can't beat him with just strength and skill alone. Now, spirit, uh, the spirit and uh, will to not uh, give up, that's something you can persuade him with, but you can't beat him on those merits alone. So, ultimately, Trico would not, could not win the fight. He can't win the fight. That being said, he probably durable enough, though, to stand, to stand up and keep rising up like Monkey, like monkey does. So, and that's since the Earth would still be saved. But in terms of the actual fight, Trico would still eventually lose. I, I think it's just the nature of Rasslor, what Rasslor is or represents. Uh, I, I have to give it, in that case, to Rasslor. Uh, a hunt well, hypothetically, is there a way that he could try Coca, try Coca win? If we gave him the Power Stone, which is all the power... In that you represent all the power in the universe. I'd say then yes he could. Uh, but it would be one of those things where he basically just chokes out and basically, you know, puts him down more or less. Uh, in some, just because of the nature of an Infinity Stone, I don't know if Rasslor is capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone who wields an Infinity Stone. Because Thanos even wasn't capable of going toe to toe with Ras with uh, Trico when he had the Power Stone, he just ended up tricking him into giving him the stone. So, if we give Trico the Power Stone, yes, I think he could beat Rassler. Wouldn't it, it would be the majority? I'm not gonna go with the percentage on that one because Rassler wins 100% of the time otherwise. But the Earth still gets saved in that scenario because you know I think Trico is durable enough and tough enough and stubborn enough to get back up. 
Also, the fact that Tri uh, Trico is not very bright, not at all. Uh, he he's a he's a he's the um, he's kind of the textbook definition of a meathead, really. So yeah, I, I I go I definitely have to go with Rassler for that. Anyway, though, what do you think? Do you think different? Put that in the comments below. Let's have a fun little chat about that. Anyway, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who to win. Star Wars, Superman, Magic, What If. Anything I do on this channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to it at some point. Um, There'll be more who wins later in the week. It is the week of what ifs. I'm, I will explain how that goes with the first what if I put up today. I'm going to actually pre or record two because I might be busy tomorrow despite it being my day off. Um, so I'll have tomorrow's up as well. Do I have anything else planned? I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do. Uh, I'm this week. Oh, actually, no, I, I should be catching tag tomorrow, though. At some point, I will catch tag. Jurassic World's also this week. Mark will be joining me for that, because he made it a point to say, you're seeing the latest show you can of that. It's like, well, I know you're seeing the latest show if necessary. Okay, I'm seeing the latest show if necessary. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.